What's up, Fight Fans? My name is Josh Osborne. Matt McCarty. Darren McCarty. And this is our UFC Lozon versus Stevens predictions. All right, guys, first fight of the night, we got Luigi Fiorvante versus Anthony Johnson. Matt, who's going to win and why? Uh, you know, it's a pretty tough fight, but I, I don't think uh, Luigi can take it away from Johnson. I think Johnson's a better striker. Luigi probably could win on the ground, but he's going to try and bang with him. So I'm going to give Johnson a knockout. Nice. Jared, what are you thinking on this one? Uh, I agree with Matt, but uh, Luigi, he's got some pretty heavy hands, good boxing. He's got good jujitsu. You don't get to see it a lot, but... Um, yeah, I'm going to have to give it to Anthony Johnson. He's a little bit faster, and I think he's got the heavy hands, too. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with Johnson because I met him. <laughs> he's really cool, nice guy. No, seriously, he, he's lost once, in my opinion, because his record shows two losses, but one of those was against Kevin Burns, I and you all know what happened on that one. Yeah. And that one loss that he had was submission. And I'm not too worried with Luigi on the ground. He is good off of his back. But he's more of a stand-up kind of guy. Yeah. And I think in this situation, Anthony's going to win because he's got like six inches of height on him. Who knows yeah. what the reach advantage is going to be. Yeah. So I think he's going to easily outstrike him. I'm taking him for a TKO in the second round. All right, next matchup, we got Gleason Thibault taking on Rich Clemente. Uh, let's talk Rich. He's 6-1 uh, and one in his last seven fights. He went on a really good uh, winning streak there for a while until he lost to Gray Maynard in his last fight. Uh, Gleason Tabot, he's lost his last two going up against short, stocky wrestlers. He lost to Joe Daddy Stevenson and uh, Tyson Griffin. Now, if you're losing to the short wrestler types, Rich Clemente is not really a good one you want to match up with. He's really good on the ground, even though his last fight didn't show it too well. I got uh, Rich taking this one via submission in the second round. Matt, nice. what do you want to add to this one? Uh, yeah, I, I'd have to agree to that. I'm going to give it to Rich, you know, submission, TKO, decision. I, I'm going to give him a decision. I think Tabo has good enough jujitsu to stay out of stuff. I mean, he did get caught by uh, Stevenson, but that was kind of stupid. He was winning that fight. He was winning. He, he was really dominating was. him. And, you know, they say Stevenson has a vicious guillotine, but <laughs> it's a guillotine. You really shouldn't get caught in it unless you're dead tired. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll agree with you. I'll, I'll give Clemente the win. I'm going to go with decision, though. Decision. Nice. Jared. No, uh, I'm going to have to agree with you guys, but eh, you know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to say Tabo. TKO. TKO? Really? Why? What's, what's the reason behind it? Just because I don't really like Rich Clemente. You know, he owns a <laughs> there tanning you go. salon. He owns a tanning He's, salon. <laughs> He's a tan guy. wrong about that guy. Yeah. Where, where's the advantage there? Is it on the ground? You know, both of them have, like, Tabo has, like, 30 fights. Clemente's got 40. I mean, both of them are really experienced, but I, I, I just want to call for Tabo, so I'm going to go for him. I'm Good. Gonna say TKO. TKO for Tabo. There you go. Oh, that rhymed. That was awesome. <laughs> Next fight, we got Kurt Pellegrino taking on Rob the Saint. Emerson. <gasps> I think he was like tagging cars in his teens and stuff like that. For Where real? the heck did they get the Saint? I don't know. That's probably just to completely mock him because he's probably in juvie like every other weekend. Yeah, so. probably. I'm not sure about you guys, but this one was actually kind of a hard call for me. I did a lot of research, watched some of their fights, and I think they're both fairly well-rounded guys. I mean, you might give Pellegrino a slight edge on the ground because I believe he's a black belt in uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. This one is tough, though. I think what's going to happen on this one, I'm giving Pellegrino the win via decision. I think he's going to get more takedowns on Emerson. Yeah. Not sure if he's going to be able to do anything when he gets him down on the ground. And I think he's going to go for a lot of submissions, but I don't think he's actually going to be able to submit him. I think he's just going to do more of the offense, so to speak, and Emerson is going to be on the run more often than not. So I'm taking uh, Pellegrino to win this one via decision, Matt. Yeah, that's a pretty good call. Uh, you know, I think Emerson's kind of overrated. Sometimes he's underrated. You know, his win over Gambirian, a little bit of luck. He did throw, Flash the, knockout. He did throw the punch, but yes. it's not like he was out there stomping Manny the whole night. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give this one to Pellegrino. I think he can take him down, work him on the ground. I'm actually going to give him submission. Submission, nice. Jared, agree, disagree? Uh, agreed. Okay. You know, I think Pellegrino, I think at one point in his college career was ranked 8th eighth, eighth in his weight class. Nice. So I definitely think he's going to go to the ground and his jiu-jitsu, black belt, I think he's going to submit him. Nice. So you're taking submission. We all agree.
Next fight, we got Mac Danzig taking on Josh the Dentist Near. What do you get a nickname like that? You knock out a lot busting of people? Busting people's yeah. teeth out. <laughs> okay, both these guys are coming off losses. You got Danzig, he lost to uh, Clay Guida, and Near yeah. lost to uh, Nate Diaz. Yes. So, Matt, this is kind of tough call. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I had a hard time picking this one. Yeah, it was kind of hard for me, but it, to me, what it comes down to is they're both well rounded fighters. But I think Nier has more heart, and he's just a tougher guy, you know. Mm. And, he, and I mean, I mean, he's really good working off his back. I mean, he he got Diaz in some some kind of hairy situations. Diaz was pretty good at getting out of them. Mac in his fight against Guida really couldn't do anything off his back. And yeah. okay, you know, Guida's a good wrestler, but it's not like he was doing anything crazy that nobody's seen before. Out there. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna give this one to Nier. He's just, he's like the complete fighter. You know, there's really not a weak part of his game. He's just not amazing at every part of his game. But I'm gonna go Nier decision. All right, Jared. Yeah, you know, Nier, he's well-rounded. Both these guys are really well-rounded. Both yes. of them have a lot of fights. Yeah, 56 but, between the two of them. Huh. Yeah, I think that um, Mac Danzig, he's more on his way up and Josh is more on his way out. So, good point, good point. I'm going to have to go with Mac. Yeah, I think if Nier wants to win, he's going to need to keep it on his feet and maybe TK on. But I think Mac is probably going to take it down and maybe ground and pound him. Nice, I like it. Yeah, uh, Danzig is definitely more up and coming than Nier. Nier is definitely yeah. a good fighter, but I think his, uh, his prime is definitely behind him. Danzig has a lot to prove in this fight because he got annihilated by Clay Guida <laughs> in that last fight. And Clay Guida is a good fighter for sure, but... You know, he did just constantly take him down and kind of lay on him and yeah. throw those hammer fists. So yeah. Danzig is going to have to uh, pull an upset on this one. I'm taking Danzig as well. I think this one is going to be very controversial. I think this is going to be a battle, a war, yeah. and it's going to go decision, but I think it's going split decision in favor of Danzig. <laughs> All right, guys, it is time for the main event. Sponsored in part by Ace Degree Black. Check out the threads. Thank you guys very much for the gear. We really, really appreciate it. You I want, like some. You, Jared is barring mine. That's why he looks uh, sculpted. <laughs> he actually told me, he said, Josh, I want to look like really tough and strong. So can you give me like a couple shirt sizes below my number? <laughs> now he's barring mine. So Ace Degree, can we please have a medium, medium. adult for Jared? <laughs> Hermes Franca, he's out of here, got injured. Jeremy Stevens has taken his place, and you know what? I like this matchup way better. Yeah. Maybe you guys disagree with me on that one, but this should be an interesting fight. Lozon, love the guy. He's really, really crafty, but in this one, I think he's really going to have to choose his battles very wisely because uh, Stevens, check out his last fight. He freaking uppercutted the heck out of that guy. <laughs> he's got some heavy hands, for oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's Lozon's got a good chin, but you know, against hands like that, you always got to watch your back. So... Lozon's got to take it real easy, and I think he's got to look for you know that, that takedown that gets Stevens off balance. So when he drops him, he's not in his guard immediately. Maybe he's in side control or a more dominant position because Lozon is really crafty on the ground. Is yeah. he a, a belt in jiu-jitsu? You know this guy more than I do. I do not think so. He's not a belt at all? I think he's a no belt. <laughs> he, I like no belt prize. Really? Yeah, I don't think well, so. Well, like 75% of his wins are via submission. So he's, he's good. That's, he, he's very good on the ground. He trains mixed martial arts, that's all. Yeah, exactly. Forget jiu-jitsu. So that's actually what I think is going to happen on this one. Lozon is going to be able to outlast him. I'm taking him for a submission early in the third round, man. Nice, nice. Yeah, Jeremy Stevens, I think, is a better fight than Franca. Franca kind of gets gassed, just throws big punches, doesn't really try and submit off his back. It's kind of boring. I like Franca, though. Uh, yeah, Stevens, a little, little bit more of a tight stand-up fighter, uh, but I don't see that night going well for him. I think Lozon's going to go in there. Throw one big punch, take him down, and I think he can pound a TKO out from uh, the guard. Really? Yeah. First round? First round, yeah. Nice. Wow. Jared, are you going to agree? I am not going to agree. Okay. I think it is. <laughs> I agree on that Joe Lozon is going to win, but I think he's probably going to submit Stevens. Okay. I, yeah, Stevens got heavy hands, but I think it's not going to stop Joe from taking him down. Yeah, definitely agree with you on that. Definitely submission. He's really crafty. What do you guys think? This is a pretty good matchup. You got to give a slight edge to Lozon, so we are picking him because we just like him. <laughs> so you can disagree with us. If you have something else to say, definitely drop us a comment. But we're taking Lozon. All right, boys and girls, that wraps it up for this fight night. 
As always, thank you guys very much for all your comments. We really appreciate it. We like hearing what you had to say. If you like our show, definitely click the uh, subscribe button so you get notified every time we launch one of these pieces of crap. <laughs> <laughs> but that is it for us. I'm Josh Osborne. Matt McCarty. Aaron McCarty. And we will catch you on the fifth side. Later.